Welcome back guys today in this Adobe XD short uh, tips I will show you guys Adobe XD's latest update with the content aware layout this feature must have uh, implemented long time ago but uh, it took so long but anyway nevertheless we already have this feature available right now so I'm going to show you guys what I mean by this all right so let's get started as you guys can see in here I have a artboard uh, with a basic design and and here I have this uh, button it's not a button yet it's just a rectangle and text so let's uh, convert this one to a component uh, select both of these uh, text and uh, the background and go in here and create a new component and I'm going to name this component as a button. Alright, so this much we already know how to create components and uh, if you are new to Adobe XD, you can check this uh, link in here where I explain how to create uh, components in Adobe XD. All right, so we can use instances of this component in our artboard. So let's uh, drag and drop one instance in here. All right, basically, if you modify the original component, it will update all the copies of that components. But if you go into a copy or instance of that component and change, it will only affect that particular component. All right. All right, so I'm going to update this uh, instant in here. I'm going to type update premium, something like that. But you can see in here, our text is longer than the original button itself. So it's overlapping with the button. You may have faced uh, this kind of issues in the past, but thanks to new Adobe Content Aware layout, we can fix this really easily. All you need to do is uh, go to the original uh, component in here and go to the layout design and activate the padding. And in here, similar to CSS, you will find the padding for all four sides from top, right, bottom and uh, left. And you guys can easily see whenever I select this uh, padding, it's highlighted in our button as well. You can also choose to apply same padding for all sides by this button. All right, for this example, I'm going to apply 20 pixels on top and I'm going to leave 16 on the side and I'm going to apply uh, 20 in the bottom as well. All right, once your padding is on, you can see no matter how long your text is, our button is responsive with the text. You can make the text any long you want. Our button will react with our text length. And also you can see instances of the button also get updated with these settings. And once you change the text of the instant, changing the original will not affect that particular instant. Let's bring in one more instant of this button. Now I can modify this button with any label I want. And again, if you want to change the style of all of this button, all you need to do is go back to the master button and change the styles the way you want. And this content aware layout uh, is not only for the buttons, you can use it in other components also. In our upcoming tutorials, I will show you guys how to do that in other places. And that's all it for today. And thank you for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next uh, tutorial.